Hey guys, welcome to your next three months reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your September, October, and November. So um, you can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. First, we're going to take a look and see what the overall theme for the next three months for you guys is. And then we'll finish off the read to check in uh, for each individual month to see what you, got, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect. So apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored uh, specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Taurus. What messages do we have here for Taurus? Taurus here. We have Blossoming Abundance. We have Financial Constraints. For the next three months here, some of you guys could be overcoming some sort of financial constraints here. You know, some of you guys could be experiencing abundance at this time with women holding a heart. You know, this could also be an indication that, you know, you guys could be opening yourself up to new love or that there could be new love coming into your life here. So we have blossoming abundance financial constraints so any sort of financial obstacles that you're over uh, going through here taurus you could be overcoming it and then we have one in holding a heart okay so i do feel like good things are coming in for you guys as you go through these financial constraints you know you guys could be getting into the place where okay i'm getting kind of like i'm getting to the place where i'm on solid solid ground here you know i'm taking care of myself you know i'm doing me at this time you know i'm ready to you know bring in someone new to, into my life i'm ready for love here you know i feel like this is about getting yourself straight here before you enter into a relationship with anybody here okay what else do we have here for taurus what else do we have here for taurus Tell me about Taurus in September. Tell me about Taurus in September. We have the Six of Wands here and the Lovers here. Interesting. It does seem like you guys are overcoming here. It seems like you guys are finding some sort of balance here at this time. Yeah, you guys find, are finding some sort of balance here or that this blossoming abundance that's coming into your life has something to do with like a new soulmate coming into your life here. Now, if you are dealing with someone here, I mean, there could be success in a relationship that you're in right now. There's happiness here. There's joy. There's bliss here. We have the sun card, Leo energy, and also the ace of wands here. Okay. This could be someone new that's coming into your life here. We do have the Ace of Wands here. This could also be an indication that, you know, with blossoming abundance here, you know, whatever ideas that you had where you, you know, started a new beginning here, such as a business here, I do feel like things are starting to pay off here or that you're starting to see the rewards of something that you started here. With the Eight of Wands, we have the Three of Cups here and the Five of Swords. Okay, so one of the things I'm getting here with the Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups and the Five of Swords here, you know, I do feel like, you know, there is victory and success here. There is celebration here. There's full movement happening here. But I do get the sense that there are people that are jealous of this experience that you're going through here. I do feel like, you know, uh, you know, these individuals here are just not really supporting you on your journey here. I just feel like these people are definitely creating some blockages in your life here because I feel like they're trying to stop you from, you know, experiencing your success here. Tell me about Taurus in October. Taurus in October. So we have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And also we have the Four of Cups here. 
does seem like you're looking for more here when it comes to your work here. Perhaps with financial constraints, if you guys are working here, you guys are not getting paid enough here. Yeah, you guys are not getting paid enough here. What else do we have here for Taurus? We have the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy, the Four of Cups, and the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces. Cancer Pisces here. But I do believe that things will balance out here for you guys. I do believe that your guides and your angels, your ancestors here are helping you on your path here to overcome your financial issues here. This is all about uh, trusting them and trusting the messages that are coming through, trusting synchronicities here too. We eight of pentacles, two of pentacles here, and the t yeah, okay, here's the thing. Yeah, with your work situation here, you guys are working a lot, you guys are juggling a lot, but I feel like you guys are feeling overwhelmed or that you guys are feeling there's a lack of appreciation here where you guys are not being appreciated for the work that you do here. You guys are, basically, you guys are not getting paid enough here, Taurus, okay? What else do we have here for Taurus? Taurus for September. Taurus for September. What's going on with for Taurus in September? Taurus in September. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups, okay? Yeah, there is a relationship here that is going really well. Bar it from all the financial constraints that you're going through here, there is someone here that's coming into your life here that's gonna make you very, 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 very happy. You're gonna meet this person in September here, okay? And I feel like things are going to really progress here. You know, as you go through your financial situation here, I do feel like this is an individual here that's gonna be very supportive on your journey here. You know, I do feel like this person's gonna uplift you. You know, I do feel like this bond that you have with this individual here is incredibly strong. We have a ton of pentacles here and a ton of cups. Wow. Now, I do believe that someone here is coming into your life here, Taurus, that's going to make you very, very, very happy. Now, if you are dealing with someone here existing already, you know, I feel like things are just going really well and you feel like you're just really satisfied and really happy with this person here. Okay, let's grab a few more here for Taurus. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Justice card and also the Queen of Swords. We have the King to Queen of Swords. That's a true pair here. I do feel like there's marriage and commitment or that there is hopes of marriage and commitment between you and your person here, Taurus, okay? We have Libra energy with the Justice card. We have the Queen of Swords here. We have the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy. There's an energy of really just going with the flow here, just enjoying the experiences, enjoying new experiences for yourselves here, okay? And the person that you're dealing with here. And like I said, you know, if there's any sort of financial constraints that you're going through here, I, some of you guys might make a decisive decision here about, you know, maybe ending employment. Um, obviously, have something lined up before you end something here uh, because you definitely don't want to be left out, you know, in the cold without any money here unless you have an absorbent amount of money staved up that you could last you for a while and that you guys have extra money where you guys have money, uh, you know, for the future and stuff like that. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, finance and work, uh, the work situation is not going well, but in terms of relationship that you're dealing with here, I do feel like it's going really well. Okay, regarding your work situation here, okay? Let's say if you guys are looking for a new job here, okay, because you guys are feel like you're working too much, you guys are not getting paid enough, and the work-life balance is not really that great, you guys might be getting a new job offer here, okay? You guys might be getting a new job offer here. So I feel like, you know, there's a big break that could be coming in for you guys, uh, Taurus. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.